let us learn about collective orders in the SAP production planning. Now with, with regards to this topic, we will be covering it just as an overview of the collective orders. So the topics we will be covering, how several individual orders can be linked over a number of levels to create a collective order. Estimate where collective orders can be applied and understand their advantages and limits. Structure and functions of collective orders. Obtain an overview of the possibility of integrating the collective orders. <coughs> Business example. <coughs> collective orders are the only option for multi-level collective management of production orders for a complete finished product. Now what that means is, for example, if you want to create a individual order for not only the finished product but also the, for the each bomb component level. That means whenever you create the production order for finished product, automatically the bomb component level should be created. A range of function can be used on several levels across orders for, for many orders. So let us talk this one in detail. Collective orders. So as I said just now that what collective orders is that means whenever a collective order is created for the finished goods uh, at the same time say for example for this finished goods you have the bomb components for example you have bomb component 1 you have bomb assembly component 1 bomb component 2 for this assembly component you have further uh, bomb for the this bomb so for this one you have this